Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Today we talk about the Cicada FLX 2500.1. It's a monoblock, full range amplifier, so it's a single channel. Super powerful amplifier designed specifically for motorcycles. Um, Cicada and I have been going back and forth for over a year now. Over about, um, they approached me almost two years ago now, and um, we do a lot of their speakers, and they asked me why I did not do a lot of their amplifiers. I told them it's simply because most of our build is two amplifiers in the fairing. Their BD amp amplifiers are awesome in a single amp setup. It's a great amplifier, the, the BDA 1400, the 2000.4, the 1000.4, 600.4, excellent amplifiers. Problem is, you're not fitting two in the fairing without cutting. Most of the builds that we do, two amplifiers in the fairing, no cutting. So it wasn't, it didn't really line up to what we did. So they answered my call with the FLX line. The FLX line, there's at least two, three, four model numbers where you can fit two of them in the fairing, including this 2500. So we did extensive testing, and in the Street Glide Road Glide, if you do a rack without cutting, I guarantee you, you could fit a 2500.1 and a 700.4, guarantee. Um, two 700s all day. We just did a Street Glide with three 700s all day. Um, the amps are small, clean, powerful. Things that I like that make this amplifier stand out, that make the entire line of amplifiers different, the entire line takes four gauge power and ground input, which makes it easier. So when we're doing other amplifiers and the customer upgrades, we'll have a eight gauge line running to the front or two eight gauge lines or an eight gauge and a four gauge. Then they'll upgrade one amps and we'll have to run another four gauge line. When you're doing the BDA or the FLX line, you're just running four gauge wires. So if there's two amps in the fairing, guaranteed there's two four gauge lines even if the customer upgrades the second half of the future it's still gonna be four gauge that makes it easier for us take speaker level through rca so you don't have to have a separate connector you could do a t harness directly off the radio directly into the amplifier it's balance line input it will not shut off the input of the amplifier and these amps are a lot less noisy these amps have fans built into them and these guys designed the smaller ones to be able to be mounted right side up or upside down with the included feet in the box. Um, these amplifiers all have clip indicators, which is awesome if you're doing a quick tune on the fly, trying to set it up, you don't, or maybe you don't have an oscilloscope, you can, if you know where your head unit clips or don't know where your head unit clips, the amplifier is going to tell you. Simple setup. I love amplifiers with clip indicator. It just makes life easier, especially we do a lot of kits that we ship out. So if the client's having an issue, he can quickly look in the fairing as he's turning it up and see if the clip light is coming on in the end. Then that means there's something wrong with the signal going into the amplifier. We got this amplifier back in May. So we tested this amplifier three months ago. I waited to make the video because whenever I make a video, as soon as I test the product and the product's not available for months and months and months, you guys send me a ton of emails, give me a hard time. So the amplifier, they're already shipping the 700s, they're shipping the 1000s, they're shipping the 1400s, and this one will be shipping very, very soon. So I waited to make the video until the amplifiers were close to shipping. I literally tested this amp three months ago. Um, the way I tested the amplifier, I specifically tested the amplifier two ways to avoid problems and conflicts. There's a video floating around about one of the very popular motorcycle amplifiers from a very reputable company that was tested one way by one company and the amplifier didn't do rated power and it was tested another way by the manufacturer or rep of the manufacturer and it did way over rated power. So there's two different ways you can test amplifiers. If you use an amp dyno um, that has a resistor bank built in some amplifiers don't like this. Some say the test is unfair because it's not realistic. Resistive load is a bank of resistors. And the problem with a resistive load is it doesn't, the resistive, the load doesn't change, doesn't go in and out like a speaker. Speaker moves in and out so the load is constantly changing. When you're testing an amp with a resistive load, it's just one solid load that does not move. And it's a lot more stress on the amplifier and the power supply. Um, I like testing with a resistive load because I want to see what the amplifier is going to do under the most difficult circumstances, and that's a resistive load. I also test hooked up to, I have a wall of subwoofers, so I can load it down to half an ohm. So I have a wall of subwoofers 
that I've test, and this is a reactive load. Reactive because the speaker moves in and out while it's playing. It's a lot easier for the amplifier because it's not a 100% duty cycle like a reactive load, like a resistive load. So I tested the amplifier both ways, and the amplifier did really well both ways. What really impressed me about this amplifier is this is a full range amplifier. You can run tweeters off this amp, not that you would because it's 3000 watt amplifier, but it will play bass, it will play mids, it will play highs. So most full range amplifiers, if you wanna make a full range amplifier look bad, test it at a really low frequency. So if you test a full range amplifier at a bass frequency, like 20 hertz, 30 hertz, 40 hertz, 50 hertz, if most of them won't do rated power. If you wanna make those amplifiers look good, test them above 500 hertz, test them at 500, test them at 1000, test them at 2000, the amplifier is gonna do overrated power. The lower you go in the frequency, the harder it is for a full range amplifier to do rated power. Uh, a lot of people have been switching over to certain brands of amplifiers because they work better on, the, better on the bass. The reason this is, is because these amplifiers won't play above 250, so they're designed to play bass, they do that part well. So of course, they're gonna be better bass than full range amplifiers because they can't play mids, they can only play bass. So I think it's unfair and a little misleading the way some people test and advertise certain amplifiers. Like certain amps do better because you're having them do the job that they're designed to do. Other amps don't do as good because you're trying to have an amplifier that thinks they can do everything, just do specifically this, and the amplifier doesn't do that well. But this is not the case with this amplifier. This is a full range amplifier. You can play from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and it did rated power at 40 hertz. So I tested on the amp dyno, and on the amp dyno, I got 2200 watts. Um, then I tested it on a reactive load. So I hooked it up to a bank of woofers, two ohm load, and it gave me 3,600 watts. So on the reactive load, 2,200 watts. On a resistive load, 3,600 watts. And I'm gonna show you all that in the video. So if you take an average of the two, which I think is fair, and come right in the middle, you're at 2,850 watts on an amplifier traded at 2,500 watts. So 40 hertz tone, which is a deep, low bass note, Resistive on the amp dyno did 2200 watts and reactive on actual speakers, it did 3600 watts. Pretty damn impressive for an amplifier. It's about this big. Um, uh, like the amplifier, we're definitely gonna be able to, we're gonna be stocking them. Uh, we've test fitted. You can fit a FLX 700 and FLX 2500 in the street glide and the road glide, no cutting, but you will have to use a rack for either bike. Hmm, I think that's it. I've covered all the bases. Uh, really happy what they did with these amps. The, the entire FLX line is really well designed. I'm really, really proud of the guys, Cicada, for uh, doing this. And uh, things can make a lot of clients happy. And then for a lot of do-it-yourselfers, they offer amp racks. Cicada now offers amp racks for their amplifiers where you can actually machine screw the amplifiers to the rack and slide them in place with no cutting. It's, it's pretty cool. But um, check out the video of me testing this out. Twenty-one fifty-one, forty hertz tone. It's pretty damn good. So this amp was going on our shop road glide, but uh, my buddy Brandon from Davidson Audio asked me for a favor. This was the only 2500 in the United States. So a couple of months back, he was going to a rally. He wanted all Cicada amps on the bike. So he asked me if I could lend it to him and I overnighted it to him so he can have a full Cicada build um, at the rally. So this amp's going on my road glide, but I lent it to him. So obviously it's not my road glide yet because the 2500 hasn't released. 
so he hasn't shipped it back to me yet. But here's his bike playing, 2500.1 on two Cicada 10s and two FLX 700s, one bridge to the fairing, one bridge to the lowers. Check it out, bike sounds awesome. So that was the biggest change for V2, but so is the audio. We went ahead and pulled the CH8s out of the lowers and put the CHX 84s in there. And then in the fairing, we kept the five and a quarter CHXs. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, we ran out of time for what I really wanted to do there and I'll elaborate that in a second. Then we didn't change anything in the bags. Our bags are still sealed and ported OEM bags with the CMB 10s, 10.4s in it. But the biggest change was the tour pack. These two or three, amplifiers are cicadas new flx series amplifiers these are the 700.4s we bridged these so each one these are for the lowers these are for the fairing and that is their brand new flx don't mind that because it's rubbing into this 2500.1 that amp gets down it puts out a lot of power and i am super pumped we wanted to go and represent cicada and do as much cicada as we can everything in this bike is cicada minus the lithiums and the one dsp um, I just really like the PSM Pro. That's what we use in all of our builds right now. So that's why we have a PSM Pro in here. This bike sounds absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna play it for y'all, a couple of songs. What's the word? Look alive. 